Let's take a look at Ben Venn's 3-inch LCD kit. This screen looks great in all lighting conditions. The screen is great for games of limited scrolling. I'm a big strategy player, so um, many of the games I play are static like this game. Um, I think this is Game Boy Wars 2. Let's review the install. You'll snip these wires to connect the backlight. Your speaker of your existing Game Boy will connect here. The screen's very durable. It connects through this ribbon cable to the back of the circuit board. You'll also add a capacitor from your existing Game Boy or a replacement capacitor to two points on the back. Um, here's an extra board that Ben Ben threw in. Um, I think it's an earlier model. So I've marked the front of my circuit board um, in these four corners here so I can position the screen with hot glue and keep it in place. On the back, you'll see I, I, I wired my speaker directly to the capacitor. Here's where the backlight connects. I've added my internal Pro Sound Mod here. I'm reusing part of the original wires. This method is much easier. And I've added a decoupling capacitor to even out the, the current flowing through the device. Um, I find this prevents fluctuations. Here are the two halves ready to go. Um, not much to say here. Here I am trying to connect this. It's a little uh, tricky getting it in here. I actually messed up the uh, connector at one point, so I trimmed it down a little bit uh, because part of the little metal metal uh, pieces came loose. Here I'm trying to power it up for the first time. Works great, but I don't really like that light on the side, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that in later versions. I'm going to enamel the back of my screen lens. Um, here I'm, I'm putting my, my lens in place and I'm marking it with a sharpie to find out where the corners are. Here I'm applying the enamel to the back of the screen lens with uh, masking tape and I blacked out my LCD. Here we see the screen uh, with the assembled lens in place next to uh, three other back, backlit and biverted Game Boys. Here's a close up. Um, this is Donkey Kong. This game works really well with this screen um, since there's not any background scro scrolling. So here's a game with a little bit more uh, background movement, um, Super Mario Land 2. Um, you'll see that there is some motion blur. A little bit more than our stock um, back, well it's not stock, but the backlit and biverted Game Boy. Here's Boulder Dash, another game with scrolling tiles. I'm just trying to clear a space here so I can move side to side to give you a, a good comparison. And of course, there is some blur in the original screen, but I, I think the effect is magnified a little bit here. Sometimes I get this distortion when starting the device. Um, by cycling power, the problem goes away. In conclusion, this screen works great for any lighting condition and looks better than the biverted original screen for most games. This won't be the only Game Boy I play, but it will get a lot of attention from me. A note for EverDrive users, I saw random screen glitches when powering on, especially after I'd been playing for a while, and I found that two-player games didn't work when I'm using the link cable. Um, I hope other folks try this mod. It's a great mod. Um, it does have its, uh, its issues, but every mod has, has certain issues. Take care. Bye.